It's Madden NFL 24, where division rivals will clash in the NFC North. It's the Green Bay Packers and the Detroit Lions. All that and more coming up next. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Today, we've got what's always a hard-hitting battle in the NFC North, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Detroit Lions. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, these Detroit Lions, they won over a lot of people with the way they played under Dan Campbell last year. They started one and six, found their stride, won eight of their last 10 games, and nearly got into the playoffs. And when you think back to how they almost got in, that final Sunday night going to Lambeau Field and beating the Packers, that tells you about the culture that's already been established there. All you need now is to watch this team continue to play. They're going to contend, I believe, in this season. And meanwhile, for the visiting Packers, one era ends, another begins. This is a team that finished 8-9 last year, missed out on the playoffs at the very end. What needs to happen for the green and gold to be playoff bound once more? Everyone's focusing on how they're starting over on the offensive side of the ball. But to me, they have an accumulation of talent on defense that needs to play like a top 10, top 5 defense in the NFL. Anders Carlson has this teed up, ready to get started. And we are underway from Ford Field. Here's Khalif Raymond to return. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl, and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency, and that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Ball on the 27, here's second and six. Montgomery on the counter. He'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Now it's gone. So the completion there, Charles, looking at this defense, certainly in for a tough task here this afternoon. What are some of the keys for them if they want to come out on top? Well, the first thing, partner, is they just allow the completion there. They don't want to get a string of those going. Let him get his confidence. Let him get into the rhythm of the game, the flow of the game, and all of a sudden, he's feeling like he can do no wrong. You want to really get after his timing a little bit, knock a few balls away, and make things uncomfortable for him because if he feels relaxed, you are in for a tough afternoon. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and that's going to bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. 
I think you and I were a little skeptical that it'd be this easy, but they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And Nice pass there. Now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. Now golf. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. He was looking for Josh Reynolds that time, but it'll be second and goal. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four-down territory? Might he go for it? And that one is complete but now a penalty flag coming in late that might be pi well that one hurts i mean it was third down of course but now the penalty and we're back to first down yeah it hurts momentum in a big way and they built that up here in the early going now that leaves the opposition with a first down that's a mistake you don't want to make at this point in the game montgomery Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. It looks like they quit hitting the snooze button on their alarm there. Finally, a sign of life from this defense. They've been fairly passive on this opening drive. Now able to stand up on first and goal, and they sent that play backwards. Here's Goff now on second down. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early, but it proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Golf. There's Laporta. touchdown grab and the Lions are on the board first here this afternoon Michael Badgley on for the extra point it's up it's good and the Lions lead at 7 nothing. so that one a long 11 play drive and the end result a Detroit touchdown The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here are the new-look Packers set to go to work. And at the helm here in 2023, a lot of eyes on this man in his fourth NFL season, Jordan Love. And at the start of Jordan Love's NFL career, he had one of the best seats in the stadium watching Aaron Rodgers work. But now, he's looking for more than that. Rocket arm, big play potential. And he wants to show this organization that he's capable of being a dependable starter for the foreseeable future. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 24. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And this will be a Packers first down as he gets it up past the 35. 
The way the game has changed a little bit is that defensive goals have changed in a big way. Nowadays, it's not so much stopping certain yardage or whatever, but it's not giving up big, explosive plays. Anything over 10 yards, you're trying to hold teams below that. When they get one against you, as we just saw there, boy, that really hurts them. It puts them back on their heels a little bit. It makes them a little bit less confident. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. Love, they go play action now. Buying time to his left. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. field across the 45 give him six yards in the first down third and four he did just enough and I mean just enough to move the chains and that's all you're looking for right just want to keep the drive moving you don't need the big play there just get to that marker that you described and he was able to do just that and he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Look, there's no question in my mind that Jordan Love is a pass-first quarterback, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have the wheels to get out of Dodge when necessary. So you will see Green Bay occasionally throw a quarterback run play in there, but for the most part, he'll do his damage with his legs when a play breaks down and he has to get out of the pocket and try and gain yardage. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Throwing. Love. Throw left side is complete on a diving effort. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 36. The drive stays intact with a pickup of 13. When I played in the yard as a kid, I used to imitate the spectacular catches that I would see on TV. I don't think I ever imitated one quite that well. <laughs> Come on, give yourself some credit. No, I know better. What we just saw there, that was pretty special. They go back to the ground with Jones. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23-yard line. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 19-yard line. Second down and six now. They'll go again to Jones. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. 19 yards for Aaron Jones. And the Packers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. And there's an offense that didn't panic after getting down early. And with good reason. No better way to silence a home crowd than with a nice, long, sustained drive. And they were able to put one together here and finish with the touchdown run. Carlson's extra point up and good, and we are tied at seven. A 10-play drive that time, and the last play in the drive was a touchdown run by Aaron Jones.
Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And he'll get about six up to the 27-yard line. Second down and four. Goff now looking to throw. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. First time these two have hooked up this afternoon, and it's a first down. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. Throw left side to Reynolds. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Throw left side, caught by LaPorta. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. So that as soon as you get the snap, you're just throwing the football. All right, you're not trying to find the laces and grip it a certain way. That takes time. Just get the ball and throw it. So that's how they practice it all the time now, too. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Back to Montgomery on second down. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Give him eight yards there. Still a few inches to go, though, as it'll be third down and about the length of the football. Play number seven coming on this drive. It's third and inches. Now Goff. He's got his target. That's complete. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers 36. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive. and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through a two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Not a big run, not an explosive run, but they've held the ball for plenty of plays on this drive. They're just trying to impose their will on the defense right now. The second and seven with our score tied at seven, but they're planning to change that soon. Only question, will they get three or six out of it? Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Got to get to the 26 for a first. This is third down. There's Gaw. This pass complete to Reynolds. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 17-yard line. 
These two teams all tied after one. Second quarter action now from Detroit, and it's the homestanding Lions who have the football. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. Montgomery back to the ground. He will push his way down to about the 14. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here's Gaw. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jared Gaw to Amon Ross St. Brown. And the Lions have taken the lead. Now that's an old-fashioned death march there, partner. Took them a lot of plays, but hey, they did the job. And the defense always preaches getting off the field, making a play, and turning it back over to their own offense. Unable to do so. A long, sustained drive by the offense. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Keyshawn Nixon now on the return. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Play fake. Here's Love. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. It's a gain of 34. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. Love going to give this one to Jones. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is. It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll bring up second down. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Two minutes gone by second quarter. Off the play fake, Love. He'll find his tight end here, DeGuara. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Play 
direction this time with Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Tucker Kraft from 17 yards out. And the Packers are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have you either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Carlson on for the extra point. And we've got a good one brewing. We're all knotted up at 14. A drive that time of six plays. And it ends with a Packers touchdown. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Khalif Raymond now. Raymond now on the return. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Time for another look at this Lions offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and one at the 30-yard line. Just need a yard here. Second and one. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Goff now looks to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. Now a second and ten. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working, but how about his vision to see where the play was going, crashed down inside, and tackled him for a loss. Throwing on third, Goff. That's to the tight end, Laporta. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. There's another example what defensive coaches constantly preach, not allowing any run after the catch. They gave up a few more yards than they wanted to, but they were able to get him down quickly and force a fourth down. And here now the punter Fox as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Packer drive will start from deep in their own territory with a first and 10. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. That's caught by the rookie, Jaden Reed. And he'll have this 
just past the 30 prior to going out of bounds. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. First down, love to pass. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Up the middle, Jones shifts by him, and he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up eight. Two yards still to go, third down now. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. Again, it's Jones. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Tackled there by Alex Anzalone. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no game. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. On second down, it's Jones. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Out of the shotgun, it's Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. Touchdown, Packers! Christian Watson. 54 yards, and the Packers have moved out in front. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Now Carlson for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drives seven plays in length, and it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. They'll look for a drive to tie this up, down 21-14 as they have it first and 10. Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Jonah Jackson, former third-round pick, the guilty party.
Handoff comes to Montgomery. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Rashawn Gary, the man to bring him down. Well behind the sticks here with a second and 18. Now it's gone. Throw left side complete. That's Reynolds. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Partney sold the go route really well. Thought he was going deep and curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really that's really a whole <laughs> cool. lot of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. Go on. Complete. The frustration evident there because he couldn't find anyone on third down and he left no doubt that he was throwing that one away. Jack Fox out to punt here on fourth down. Fair catch signal for and taken just shy of the 30 yard line. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out, and he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. 82 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Brings up second and four. Here now, second and four. Now Love. Throw right side, hauled in by Dobbs. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Completes it again to Dobbs. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. They go right back to him for 20 and a first. To pass. Here's Jordan Love setting up the screen here. Aaron Jones. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free. And that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Here's second and three. Here's Love. Got Dobbs over the middle. They only get five out of that quick slant, but that's good enough for a first. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play, and you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch, and then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They will throw again here with Jordan Love. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. 
When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Throwing. Love. And it's a Packers touchdown. Jaden Reed from 21 yards away. And the Packers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better too, having that lead. Carlson's extra point up and good, and the lead now up to 14. So this drive spans seven plays, and the result, a Green Bay score. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Just over 30 seconds to go in the half. They've got it first and 10. Now gone. Pass incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Here's Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. A yard all they need, but it's third down. A shotgun snap for Goff. That's complete to the portal. The Lions now are going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Again, golf. And this is incomplete. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Golf. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. First and ten, golf. That is caught. Josh Reynolds. Oh, he's going to be brought down there in the field of play. And the clock will run. No timeouts. They will not have the chance to bring out the field goal unit. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve. 
as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime. The highlights report. are fairly Coach. one sided to this point. It's a two touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. In that first half, it was the veteran Aaron Jones who had it going. He wound up finding the end zone on a touchdown run to help give his guys the advantage here at the break. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. Here's the Packers offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. First down going to the air with Love. The left side completion to Jones. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 33 yard line. Here's a second and two now from the 33. An inside give to Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35 yard line. Two yards, good enough for a first. Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. He's got the hookup with Dobbs. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that will bring up second down. Love. Over the middle complete. That's Reed. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. In motion right, Dobbs. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. An excellent run there coming from out wide. And we used to consider these jet sweeps to be gadget plays or something a little bit unusual, right? But now most teams have some version of this play in their playbook. And I think it's a lot because of the receivers that are being developed nowadays. These guys look like running backs, even though they're playing out on the perimeter. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. This has been a good drive so far. It's been a running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice burst there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. To throw now, here's Love. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Jones. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. They're going to run the 
Smith with a tight end. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. It's no accident they've been moving the ball well all game long. This offensive line has done an excellent job adapting to everything the defense is throwing at them and creating holes for their runners. Dillon. Had a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. And now defensively, you have to look at this like the game's on the line. It's just the third quarter, but another touchdown given up here could really spell an end to their chances, so they need to toughen up and keep them out of the end zone. And he's going to go down just outside of the five, right around the six-yard line. Flying in for that sack, Aiden Hutchinson. Well, they had the right down and the definite distance to take a shot downfield, but it didn't work out the way that they had envisioned. No, that's a situation where if, if you take a sack close to the line of scrimmage, it's not that bad, but a loss like that, you can't, you can't take a sack there. Yeah, absolutely. The one thing you cannot do, they did. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Carlson back out there now to send this one away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Goff of this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 21. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Now Goff. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Reynolds. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Brings up third and three. Out of the gun, Goff. And a throw there going to be incomplete. A good play on the ball, getting a hand on it, but it was tipped up in the air before falling incomplete. And at least way too many moments where bad things can happen for a defense and good things can happen for an offense. And this is tough to teach in today's football because everyone wants to make a highlight play. Tip it up in the air, grab it yourself, take it the other way. But sometimes that can backfire. How do you teach these guys to just make the good, solid, fundamental play of knocking it to the ground and not trying to make a highlight reel play that could backfire? So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. Go. 
Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Love, they go play action now. That went behind his man, incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Love looking to throw it. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Love now. That is caught, and he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Another big play right there, and this is where, as an offense, you can really put the hammer down. You've got a double-digit lead, but those other guys, they've been hanging around. A touchdown here could put this game out of reach, and that's a strong step towards getting it done. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. The give is to Jones. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down, but a nice little gain. 117 yards rushing for him now to this point. And while the guys with the ball are having a whole lot of fun keeping it on the ground, the guys on the opposite side, they are having zero fun. They've been getting pushed around the entire game and haven't found an answer yet to slow down the running game. Now Love. Touchdown! Jaden Reed, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where'd you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that into the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 24. 14. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. They trail here by 24 points. Got to get going soon, you'd have to think, as they come up first and 10. Fake the give, now Goff. That's to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Today's NFL, these big guys are featured receivers. They move all over the place to try and find good matchups, and they had one, they were just unable to complete the pass. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Here's Goff. His throw incomplete. He's trying to get it to Amon Ross St. Brown. And that takes us from second to third down. Brings up a third down and 10 yards to go. Now it's Goff. 
Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. A first down and then some. Give him 29 yards. Brandon, what's even more impressive is that came against double coverage. He gashed them with that reception, even with the extra focus that he drew from the defense. Goff on first down. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 38. From the gun, here's Goff. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. A gain of four. It's now second and six at the Packers' 34-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Goff throwing again. A quick throw there is incomplete. That was well defended. They clamped down on every available receiver. Just got to give the win to the defense on that snap. So third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. To throw is Goff. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Running for it, Montgomery. And he's not going to get there. Might have even lost a yard. He only needed a yard, but he couldn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So he needed the short yard as Charles he elected to try to bounce it outside of the outer third unsuccessful. Sometimes those plays are stacked up by the defense and there's nowhere to go, so you have to bounce it outside. And some backs just get impatient. They want to go to where they think there's more open territory instead of going where the play was actually blocked. In any case, it didn't work here. Loving the Packers now with a first and 10 right at the 30. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. He continues to be dominant running the football. I mean, keep feeding him, right? Yeah, you should because what he's put up already is really like a two-game total. Give him a lot of credit, but give the rest of the offense credit as well. The big guys up front and the receivers on the perimeter, everyone's getting involved blocking people downfield. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Four yards on the Second and six. Second and six. Here's Love. And his throw here is incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Working out of the gun, Love. Looking deep here for Dobbs. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 
And this will be taken at the 13. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And the Lions will take over. Detroit's offense ready to take over. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through and was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. So second and 10 now here in the third quarter from Detroit. A shotgun snap for Goff. A little short pass here taken in by Laporta. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Jack Fox in punt formation for the Lions. We're off to the fourth quarter here on Christmas Eve. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now at Ford Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Montgomery, they'll run for it. And he is going to have the Lions first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. Uh, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Goff now to throw. And that is incomplete here. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Gone. That's taken in, complete to Reynolds. Five yards, now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The offense on third down, they've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This will be third and five. Goff now looks to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're gonna rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They go ahead and snap it. Goff. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Packers are going to get the football back in excellent field position. So that's the second time this game they've given it up on fourth down. They're now one for three on fourth down conversion tries. But they must feel good about what they're doing, right? They continue to go for it on fourth down. Give the defense a lot of credit, though. They've stopped them two out of three times. Usually, you have fourth down plays that you have dialed up and ready to go and you think are going to be successful. Not so far in this game. Go. 
Now a first down carry by Jones. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That good for 22 and a first down. They just look like they're having fun out there. Big lead. There's another big play on the big run. I mean, they can't be stopped. I'm a little bit older than you, as you well know, partner, and you tend to tell me that all the time. But uh, there used to be a big-time song, and the lyric was, summertime and the living is easy. Right now, it's football time, and the running is easy for this crew. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and 10 at the 18-yard line. To pass, here's Jordan Love. That's taken in by Watson. Five yards, now it's third and five. Christian Watson. Five yards on the play, and it's third down. Love going to give this one to Jones. And the tackle made at the 13. He is well short of the first. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it's going to leave him with a fourth down. So off goes Love, on is Carlson for the Packer field goal. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And this one is right through, and that will extend their lead even further. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. And Detroit getting set to go now. Goff in this Lions offense set for a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second and a yard. Back to throw, Goff. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Goff. That is caught, Josh Reynolds. Now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. That's good for our Lions. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 34. Now Montgomery, he's got it on the draw. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. 
That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well, and we saw in that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. On second down, here's Goff. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And he's brought down, but not before a gain of 13, down to the 13. First and 10 in the red zone. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, Goff. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. And it's complete to Mitchell. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Devondre Campbell flies in to blow that play up. You can almost see all the defenders rubbing their hands together with glee because we all know they relish the chance to bring down a quarterback of his caliber. Anyone who brings him down has plenty to talk about. Not just a sack, but a big win built on the efforts of this defense. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Green Bay about set for another series. Here comes Romeo Dobbs. He's been a load for them to handle defensively. I know that much. A look at him. He's got seven catches on the game, and he's starting to shred them a little bit because not only is he catching them, he's picking up good yardage, keeping the chains moving, ball control, you name it. This big guy, what did you say? He's been a load for them to handle? That's right. He's Agreed. A, this seven catches, as you said, over 100 yards. They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. He continues to be a major factor carrying the football here into the fourth quarter, Charles. Another big gain on the ground. Big guys working strong up front. A lot of them not just taking care of business at the line of scrimmage, but getting into the linebacker spots and taking care of the second level as well. And they're taking advantage of everything right now on the scoreboard with that lead. And this will be a Packers first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it, most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 181 yards rushing for him now in the afternoon as he continues to put a hurt on this defense. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. He's brought down at the 39-yard line. A three-yard pickup brings up second and seven. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. They'll go again to Jones. 
And a decent game there as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Play fake. Here's Love. Work in the middle. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, maybe it hasn't exactly been a Rembrandt, but they've been mistake-free to this point and finally cough it up. I don't think it's going to cost them the game. They should be fine. But, boy, they're going to hate that going back and watching tape and being able to say we were that close to achieving our goal of zero turnovers yeah, during the game. A little blemish, but as you say, still comfortably in command. The Lions offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Up the middle, Jones. Oh, he put it on the carpet, a fumble. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they are going to take over right there at the 22-yard line. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnover. <laughs> don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. And yeah, Detroit back in possession of the football. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's <laughs> get out up. of here and do something <laughs> some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So the officials and the folks in New York got a second look at this one, and the call is going to be overturned. The fumble on first down, now here's second down. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Better ball security, but not much else to show for it. Being strong up the middle is imperative. I don't care what your sport, but in football, when you've got a D-tackle, it can contribute not only to occupying bodies, but also making plays on the ball carrier. That's when you have the cornerstone of a solid run defense. So it's all over. A Green Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.